You know Times Square is alive with the sound of music. Oh, that voice, unmistakable. It is an honor. It is the 50th anniversary of this wonderful film, a year-long celebration taking place, including today's release of a special five-disc box set, and we have Dame Julie Andrews herself with us. And Hello. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look back. I can't wait to talk with you, but do you mind if we take a little stroll down memory lane? I don't mind at all. Here we go. Let's start at the very beginning. It all started with a young Julie Andrews nearly turning down the role of Maria, fearing it was too much like her Mary Poppins character. How you solve the problem like Maria. But it's a problem she solved, turning the story of a young governess who wins the hearts of those Von Trapp children through song into her second blockbuster hit in less than a year. It's the most successful musical ever made. Andrew's learning to play guitar just for this role. These are a few of my favorite things. And this morning, we're celebrating 50 years of Do Re Mi. A drop of golden sun. The music brought back to life by Lady Gaga at this year's Oscars. These are a few of my favorite things. A half a century after winning the statue for Best Picture. Magical. That was uh, magical for me, too. I do not say this lightly. It is a privilege to have Julie Andrews with us Yay! again here. Yay! Wonderful. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we were just sitting here 50 years? Uh, it, uh, it, I, I was just saying, mm -hmm. I think it's a joke. I mean, <laughs> I think somebody pulled a fast one on me because it feels... It, I lost 20 years somewhere. Surely it's only 30 years, but still. You could not have imagined 50 years no, ago that never. this... Uh, who, if somebody had said 50 years ago, you'll be sitting here one day and it will be 50 years from now, I, I, how could you possibly imagine that? You couldn't. Why do you I think it resonates with generation after generation after generation? Well, there's the obvious one, which is that every seven years there's a new generation, mm -hmm. and they get introduced to it, but then the film has to be pretty good to last that long anyway. It was one of the wonderfully crafted Hollywood movies, and it's full of joy and love and family and adventure, and it's got children and nuns and scenery and uh, beautiful music. So some, somewhere in there is the secret. Yes, it is. It's a beautiful secret. And it's one that's shared from family to family. And as you they said... They do pass it on. I yeah. hear so many of our staffers who say, who are, who are younger than, than, than us. us. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> Certainly they, me. <laughs> no, and they say that they know the film because they go to their grandparents and they play it. Right. What is it, and they, and they share the memories of it, what is it like for you? when you watch it what is your well i memory? don't as a rule no uh, Robin. well no i mean occasionally like this morning i'll bump into it and uh, uh, it's like an old friend and the memories are great though the the, mm -hmm. the pleasure of of making it and the friendship with children and christopher continues mm -hmm. and i see him a lot and the children were always in some contact one way or another you said old friend but a new friend lady gaga oh a new friend i, I yes I've always been a fan, but when she finished what she was doing on stage, I think I found a new friend. She said it was magical. And it, it was for me. Yes, and you know, we're going to have a another magical moment right now because Diane Sawyer, you and she have cooked up this wonderful special oh, that well, you're working with. Come on in, Diane. Come in, Diane. Hello, hello. Oh. Hello, my love. Mwah. Well, how sit, sit, where sit, we sit, have sit, an announcement to make, don't so, we, today? Because uh, tell do us we? about it. We do. We are announcing that the two of us went back to Austria. Oh, we did last year. And yeah. we visited the scenes of The Sound of Music. And I'm going to show you just a few of our home movies. This is my first viewing, <laughs> But too. you'll hear the hilarious things that happened there. You'll hear what she's really thinking as she's walking toward Christopher Plummer. <laughs> I find your mountain. Thank you very much. Yes, I you almost do. never recovered from that mountain. And of course, do re me. And we enlist some oh. tourists who everyone can do the songs mm -hmm. and everyone can do the dances. And, and we and dance that fountain. I'm telling yes, you, we, we did, really and, and you did everything. I mean, we never stopped giggling and laughing <laughs> and talking. We didn't, and we got to go to the real Von Trapp house. Yes. 
That's and see the way the real Maria walked up to that gate in her funny outfit. Yes. And this yes. was the first time you'd been able to go because... I, I never saw the original villa because right. for the movie we created a slightly more a slightly bigger house in a, in a more countrified and setting. And their schedule was simply death-defying. <laughs> yeah. Up every morning so early, working so late, that there was never any time to go do, do what we did as tourists. And it's a wonderful, wonderful occasion. How, and how long does it run? It is going to run for an hour. It's going to be next Wednesday, not tomorrow, but the next Wednesday night wow. for an hour. So come with us to The Sound of Music, and it's amazing. All I can say, if this is any indication of what we're going to see in that special, <laughs> we're going to be in great hands. Well, how was it for you emotionally to go back to these iconic uh, places? It was kind of, I thought I might be nostalgic or sad, mm -hmm. but in fact it was very affirming in some strange way. I mean. Salzburg itself hasn't changed no. that much, mm -hmm. but the, the big difference is that the uh, tourism is based on Mozart and the sound of music. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you go, you see the tour advertised, and it's plastered across uh, the buses. That was never there when we no, were filming. People come and they recreate the scene. So you're in, you're in Austria and you're looking around and families are recreating all of the scenes. Mm. But I have it's to say that that beautiful cathedral, that church oh. at Monse, yeah. is so gorgeous. It, it really is. It was a wonderful moment. Yeah. And so was the moment when we're doing Do Re Mi. Yes. And you have to see because at one point Julie turns to me and goes, you're no help at <laughs> all. <laughs> Did I really? You oh. did. <laughs> and you were so, I kept confusing sa, lo, me, <laughs> And whatever. you were on the wrong steps and everything. <laughs> but she, she, gets a, she gets an A for effort. But she does. As, as always. So it's a week from when's so it? From tomorrow the, night. The untold story? It is the untold story. And we have great scenes. We have home movies. We have real scenes mm -hmm. of what was really happening. Yes. In and all some of, of them these are quite iconic moving moments. Moving and, and beautiful. So they are. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. And then lots and lots of memories and no, reminiscences. A love story at every level, as you said. Mm. Uh, for homeland, But for she family. made it so. I mean, you, you, you breezed into town, <laughs> and we never stopped working, and we, we never stopped laughing. We didn't. And yeah. It was so moving. So and I hope everyone will join us. We certainly will. Diane, always a treasure. And you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Robin. You both made it so beautiful this oh, morning. Thank you. you. No, you did. Yeah. Thank you. Be sure to watch Diane's primetime special, The Untold Story of the Sound of Music. It's next Wednesday, March 18th, right here on ABC.